Hey everyone, or as we say in the South, howdy. The clock is ticking and the ice cream is melting. I'm not going to talk very much at the beginning. I'll just say this is Briar's No Sugar Added Vanilla Ice Cream. Well, Trip, you're supposed to be a diabetic. Okay, this is for my birthday yesterday. Well, yeah. Sunday, June the 16th. So, I've got to get going with this, or it's going to be a mess. Feels pretty, pretty solid, pretty hard there. Leftover birthday napkin. I would normally get the Neapolitan chocolate straw, strawberry and vanilla, but I had my chocolate cake and I gave half of it away. And I gave a, a bit to my, my neighbor who's been in the hospital and he's supposed to be back today. So I'm gonna take one, one big piece of cake I had left over and I gave half of the cake to my daughter and her husband I came here from out of state just to be here for my birthday, which happens to be the same as Father's Day this year. I really enjoyed seeing them both. This is not the the real 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 sugary ice cream that has like anywhere from 15 to 30 or 40 grams in a serving. This only has about eight or nine, eight or nine grams in a serving. Of course, a serving is only three quarters of a cup. I'm not going to stop with that. And it's delicious. You don't get all that sugar. But I had the vanilla because it went with the chocolate cake better, I thought. Here, let's do the thumbnail thing. Mm -hmm. Cold. Yaza, yaza, yaza. Here you go. Pardon my silliness. took the, um, I no longer have to get the fusion in this arm daily. And I got rid of my, that was a di the uh, antibiotic, and I got rid of the, uh, finished the, the antibiotic pills. Now my goal is to gain some weight back. I got down to 90 pounds and that's what I am right now to get back above at least 95 and then it'd be nice to get back to 100 or 105. So Saturday we went to a little ice cream place and and I got like a little little small peach ice cream in a cup. That was the first sweet that I've had in three or four months. And then the cake and ice cream yesterday was the, the next, was the first cake I've had in three or four months. For all that time, I was trying to reduce my sugar. And it's a lot better now. It was like 300, maybe almost 400 
two or three, three or four, three or four months ago, and now it's more in line. And this is fasting. Now it's about anywhere from a hundred to hundred and thirty or forty. Same old train. So when I try something new, a new sugar now, like uh, like a dessert or something, which would be very rare, then I take my have my glucose test, my finger stick, to see how it affects me. It's a whole new world, which most of you will be joining. You know, you gotta you gotta cut out the sugar. Not entirely, but just reduce it. This ice cream is lasting really good. It's still pretty hard. I had it in the freezer and just took it out just to 30 seconds before I started this video. And take a look at it. A little spoonful. And this is just ice coal. In fact, this three or four, a few. A few weeks, two or three months ago, all I could eat was was um, ice cream and mashed potatoes, Jello, stuff like that. That went on for weeks, and now I can have just about anything I want. So I was actually learning to eat again. Eating food was was painful. The smallest thing was just painful. I hated food for a while, which is very pretty bad when you when you want to have a food channel. And people ask about the Fortnite. I played that a while, but I deleted those 15 or 16 videos because people didn't really seem to respond to it so much. I mean, not in the way that I'd hoped. Also, I couldn't see, couldn't see it so, I couldn't see the action so well. after my two eye surgeries last year. <laughs> I was afraid it was all just going to melt. It's done pretty well. Imagine going three, three or four months without any kind of, any kind of sugar desserts. Of course, a lot of food has sugar in it, so I have to watch things like potatoes and and rice. Let's take a look at this. Briars, no sugar added. First, the nutrition. 
I'll just show it to you. It's 100 calories and two-thirds of a cup. I don't care about the calories. I'll take all I can get. It has a 18% saturated fat and zero. It has a sugar alcohol of eight grams. So, you know, it's, um, it's about as good as you can get. I wonder if they... I wonder if there's a... I'd like to find out something from the company about this. Yeah, here it is. There's a number. Can't see. Okay. See, we can give them a call. Thank you for calling Briars. Para Servicio Español Presione Do. And I was just wondering, is there, it says there's 8%, it's like 8% sugar alcohol, or 8 grams of sugar alcohol. Is that something they have to add to it? Because a lot of people like me are, are diabetics now. And... I was wondering if they could just remove that somehow. It's so good anyway. <laughs> Do you understand that? I understand, and we do want to thank you for your loyalty as well as your support to our product as well. I've loved it for years, especially the Neapolitan, but this is just uh, some vanilla I have right here. But anyway, what do you think about the... I mean, why do they have to put the, the sugar alcohol in there at all? I understand that sugar alcohols are just forms of natural sugars. Um, they are absorbed and metabolized to glucose, believe in other sugars. Mm -hmm. Now, for this reason, there is a calorie reduction compared to sucrose and other sugars with relatively the same sweetness. Okay. And the okay. alcohol form of sucrose, which is table sugar, is actually sorbitol, which is an example of... Um, a sugar alcohol and mm. sugar alcohols are considered low calorie sweeteners yeah it's pretty low calorie i mean i'm only i only weigh i weigh less than 100 pounds so i don't care about calories i'll take all i can get but I, it does seem like it has fewer calories than a comparable ice creams i guess all right well again we do want to thank you for your support of our brand I hope that didn't seem awkward. So this is, oh, I know what I was going to do here. I'll show you. See this, when the ice, when it gets really low like that, it's already kind of low. What I do is I'll go around here and Okay, it's not working very well. I just try to cut around it like this. So I cut the entire top off that way. Now we're getting kind of messy here. And then put the top back on it like this. It didn't really fit as well as I thought it would, and I didn't cut it very accurately. But you get the picture. So then, then the ice cream is more 
like that you get to it better and not get your not get your hands all messy and there you are didn't really work too good I've it's worked better in the past and under a lot of pressure here I should have already asked you if you like if you will subscribe if you want to and like the video and leave a comment tell me what you think about it things are all messy that's it the Briars no sugar added vanilla ice cream or they say dairy dessert on there uh, you tell me the difference between a dairy dessert and an ice cream I don't know peace out <laughs>